style True it in the red, white and blue Nicest evenings I've ever spent. When we're married, we'll have millions and millions of them just like this. Yeah. You know something? I feel married already. I gotta go. Wait a minute, you just got here. I know. But... I've got an idea. Let's just have that bottle of champagne the girls brought me for the shower. But now wait, wait. Uh, it might wake your roommate. Oh, she won't be home tonight. She's visiting her boyfriend. All night? Of course, all night. They're going to be married. Yeah, but they are not married now. Darling, sometimes I find it very difficult to believe you were ever in the Navy. Oh, I was in the Navy, all right. I sure was in the Navy. Darling, I think it's wonderful that you traveled all around the world and that I'm your very first girl. I made a promise, and I made a promise I'd save myself for the right girl. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Well, now, darling, since you found the right girl, you know, there is such a thing as warmth and closeness. Oh, come on, Phyllis. We're going to be married in two days. Yeah, but, but we are not married yet. <laughs> Honey, don't you see? That closeness and, and, and the warmth, they're, that's a trap that Mother Nature sets for young people. Mother Nature may have set the trap, but I think she forgot the bait. Mm -hmm. Can I open this? Oh, oh darling, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, honey. It's okay. Please, let me take your shirt off for you. I'll dry it. No, it's not that wet. It was, uh, it was a dry champagne. But it's soaking. Honey, I haven't got time. Wait a minute, it'll only take I... a second. My roommate worries when I'm late. I know. You can wear my shirt home. It's a stretch. No. I can't. I, I gotta go. Ken? Ken? Yeah? What are you doing in there? I was taking a cold shower. Oh, another passion-filled night, huh? Well, how's the monk of San Jose? Very funny. How was I lucky enough to get a roommate who'd be funny at 2 a.m.? Homer, I made a decision. I'm gonna look now. Oh, no, please. Wait until morning. If you start crying, I'll be up all night. I can't stand it. Ow, oh, it's, no, it's... It's stuck. It's quite no, wait, wait, wait. It's held in place by millions of tiny nerve ends. All right. Let me do it. Brace yourself, Romeo. It's still there. It's not even faded. No, it's brighter. Three weeks with that bleach. Homer, what am I going to do? Why don't you make a clean breast of it? <laughs> I made it so very funny. Honey. No, I mean, why don't you just tell Phyllis? Yeah? What do you think she'd say if I told her I was madly in love with a girl named Erna? Bye. That's exactly what she'd say. Paint remover, stump killer. I've got it. Come to the desk. What are you doing? A little camouflage. You know, if I, if I told her at first, it wouldn't have been so bad. But a small town girl, what do they know about French girls in Hong Kong? Yeah, well, when you get them tattooed on your chest, that's bad. Uh, uh, uh. There we are. 
Erna is gone forever. You're kidding. You're kidding. Bernard? Don't you like Bernard? I'd rather have her think I was in love with Erna. Just tell her that he's your psychiatrist. Everyone falls in love with their psychiatrist. Homer, if she sees this tattoo, I'm sunk. Finished, finito, wiped out. Now do something. I'll do something. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> It's great the way Ken respects you. I wish Siegfried respected me that way. Do you really? Oh, it'd be a lot easier on these clothes. Barbara, do you realize that I've never even seen Ken with his shirt off? I don't even know if he has a hairy chest. You can be happy either way. You see, he's got this body hang up. It's just not normal. He won't even let me take off my shirt. I've always had the opposite problem with Siegfried. <laughs> maybe it's me. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just not sexy enough. What do you think? No, it's not you. If you'd have done that for Siegfried, he'd be handing out cigars by now. <laughs> Well, if it's not me, then it's definitely him. Look, why don't you just put it on the line and say, Ken, we're going to be married in two days. I insist that we get to know each other more intimately. Yeah, but you see, the trouble with Ken is that he's got such high standards. I'm his first girl, and, and well, he's got me on some sort of a pedestal. Well, get down and show him you're a woman. Hey, I've got this great idea. Siegfried and I bought this marriage manual. Oh, it's some book. They won't even sell it to brides under 21. I think there's something in it that could help. Let's give it a try. Yeah, even if we can't find it, we'll have fun looking. The freckle remover didn't work. Yeah, it worked. Not a freckle left on the tattoo. I got 18 hours left. Ken, there's nothing else left. You've got to go down to the tattoo pole. Homer, I can't. It's your last chance. Now, you know what's happened to me since I've had this tattoo, and you know what happens when I go near a tattoo parlor. It's the screaming I hate, but it's your last chance. I can't. I just can't. All right, all right. Calm down. Maybe they make house calls. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. As long as they don't have to walk into the tattoo parlor. With all those memories. Da Vinci. Seven Lord Quincy Da Vinci. Hi. Oh. Well, which one of you is the chicken that won't come down to the tattoo parlor? Him. Well, no, it's not a it's not a question of being chicken. I it's just I'm getting married and I I don't want my fiance to see me coming out of a tattoo parlor. <laughs> you want to surprise her with a tattoo on your wedding night, eh? <laughs> Mom, mommy, that's a swell idea. All uh, right, now here we have a new fall line. Singapore and Hong Kong decreed uh, raucous red this season. Tell him what I want. You heard him. I didn't get a chance. I know what he wants. Something for a bold bridegroom, right? Here's a magnificent heart with an arrow right through it held by two cupids on a field of forget-me-nots. This is where her name goes through. If you want to make a hit on your wedding night, you should wear this with a black satin kimono. <laughs> But you don't understand, Mr. Da Vinci. I already have a tattoo on my chest. So a man has only one painting on his walls? I'd like this one removed. You want to have this removed? Yeah, and I've only got a few hours. Can you do it? You're in luck. Because you just happened to hit one of the three great artists who can remove a tattoo in one afternoon. Those are awfully long needles. The tattoo design goes all the way through, like inlaid linoleum. Uh, may I see your design, please? Oh, yeah. Mmm, that's fine. Okay. Excuse me, by any chance, did you have this done in Hong Kong? Uh, yeah. You did? I knew it. I knew it. It's an El Greco. Why didn't you tell me this was an El Greco? Look, I want to show you something. You see how we signed the signature over here, all curled up? You see? That's the touch of the master. Yeah, the, the depth, the, the, the color, the, 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 the feeling. Well, you better get started. What started? Well, you got to take this off. Me? I wouldn't touch it. What do you mean you wouldn't touch it? Would Picasso go around tearing Rembrandt? Do you know 
Can you imagine how much this is worth in a few years from now? I, I don't care. I just want it off. Young man, you should be hanging in a museum. No, please, please. Now, now, the girl I'm marrying is named Phyllis. And the name on the tattoo is Erna. Get yourself another Erna. <laughs> Which one of these perfumes did you use on Siegfried? Uh, this one. But uh, be careful, it's called the point of no return. <laughs> Do you put this behind your ears? You put it behind everything. Tonight's the showdown, right? Yes, it is. I'm going to find out exactly how hung up he really is before it's too late. Better a canceled wedding than a tearful honeymoon. What's the battle plan? Are you going to come on loud or loving? <laughs> loving. Do you remember the fable about the wind and the sun? The wind and the sun have a contest to see which one of them can make a man take off his shirt. First the wind blows, but all the man does is pull the shirt tighter around him. And then the sun comes out. And it gets hotter and hotter. And he takes off his shirt. You're going to be little Miss Sunshine, right? Right. If I can't make Ken take off his shirt, he's either hopeless or it's painted on. Well, you look happy. Did the vanishing cream work? Nope. But I've been upset over nothing. Over? We've both been crazy. We have? We overlooked one of the world's greatest inventions. Pajama tops. All I gotta do is be a husband who wears pajama tops. Always? I'm susceptible to drafts. Swimming? The way I sunburn? Shaving? A man can have privacy in his own bathroom. Yeah, but how about, oh, like, you know, I mean, a man can't always have his pajama tops with him when he feels affectionate. The answer to that, Homer, is self-control. And for the past few weeks, I've been writing the book. Wasn't that an exciting evening? There's something about an X-rated film. They should be for children only. There's... You know, they're awfully hard on a mature adult. Oh, I know. Why don't you just sit down and I'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta do something. <laughs> Because from the honeymoon boutique. Do you know what they call it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Previews of coming attractions. Yeah. Yeah. It should wear very nice. Picture of your favorite and two frosted glasses. Isn't that nice? That's for you. And that's for me. To us. To us. Mm. This is awful strong. <laughs> Makes me feel awful weak. You must be awful. Hot in that awful jacket. Oh. Let me help you with it. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Come here. Oh, I've wrinkled your tie. Oh, let me take it off. I'll iron it for you later. We really shouldn't be doing this. I know. <laughs> Just think of this as the only two people left in the world. Mm. And the music is drawing us closer and closer. Mm. Oh, Hitler. 
Where'd you get the Hitler record? Oh, it's a, it's a World War II album I bought a long time ago. Fascinating war. Did you know that? Fascinating. No. Did you know that the demand that he surrender unconditionally mm, was the... Do we have the... to talk about Hitler? That's it. Doing. Surrendering unconditionally. Oh. Every darn lamp has a switch in a different place. Ralph Nader ought to check into this. Well, I'll leave it on then. You got stock in the electric company? Oh. Isn't it a beautiful moon? Mm-hmm. Darling, that moon's so romantic. Romantic? What's romantic about a big rock with pock marks? Where is he? Thanks. What are you doing? I'm re-enlisting. He heard we were losing. <laughs> you can take your ring with you. Boy, I knew it. I mean, the minute the lights went on, I knew we were through. I've never been so humiliated in my entire life. I think I'd better get out of here. <laughs> We just could have kept the lights off. Listen, Ken, you can't keep the lights off for the rest of your life. Sooner or later, I would find out how you feel about your body. My body's got nothing to do with it. I mean, it's, it's like a canvas. Do you think of your body as a canvas? Well, it holds the work of art. The tattoo. What tattoo? You, you mean you didn't see the tattoo? Of course I didn't see any tattoo. All I saw was the sick way you tried to... Were you trying to cover up a tattoo? Of course I was. What do you think I was trying to do? Well, I thought that you, you thought were... that I was... Yes. Oh. Let me see that tattoo. Well, now you know everything. But it's only an ordinary... Who's Erna? Just a French girl and... Hong Kong. <laughs> you must have been very much in love with her to go through the pain of having her name tattooed on. I was. I mean, for, for that week. I you must be very, very passionate. I am. But it'll all be wasted in the monastery. Monastery? I thought you were going into the Navy. I was. But monasteries are safer. <laughs> Do they take married women in monasteries? Hmm? Well, you don't think you're going to go there without me. You... you mean you don't mind the tattoo? Of course I don't mind the tattoo. I thought you were hung up about your body. <laughs> Instead, you were hung up about Erna. You mean you... you don't mind looking at Erna for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to do a little something about her. Thanks. Phone call. Hello, 
Shirley, I love your body. I'd like to see you. Look at that one over there. Would you quit ooing, man, and go ask the chick out? Oh, I couldn't do that. What are you kidding? Go ask the girl out. Oh, I couldn't do that. No, man. What are you afraid of? She's not going to bite you. You really think I should? Sure. <laughs> Excuse me, miss, but would you go out with me tonight?